Good morning. I'm Ned Johnson, Assistant Superintendent for the Bridgeton Public School District. On behalf of the Office of Curriculum and Instruction, I would like to welcome you to the 2013-14 school year. We have had a very busy and productive summer as we prepared for the return of staff and students. This is a very exciting time to be an educator as we embark on Achieve New Jersey, which is the principal and teacher evaluation system that will be implemented for the 2013-14 school year. We continue to prepare for implementation of PARC, the Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers that is scheduled for full implementation across the nation during the 2014-15 school year. You will now hear from our curriculum directors and supervisors the specific details and programmatic updates that we will be implementing during the school year. At the Early Childhood Center, we will focus on community outreach. We recognize the importance of building reciprocal relationships as we convey positive messages in the community. It is crucial for teachers and families to develop trust, understand children's home experiences, and build on these experiences in the classroom. Our goals this year include 90 home visits. The in-home family libraries will continue as children receive two books per year for their personal libraries. Student creativity and uniqueness will also continue to be celebrated through our Little Bulldogs monthly celebrations. We are pleased to announce the opening of 10 model kindergarten classes, which will give us a total of 13. By the end of the 2014-2015 school year, all of our kindergarten classes will be models in the district. Our classrooms are based on a New Jersey implementation guide Lines, which focus on guiding high quality practice in kindergarten, school structures that support high quality kindergarten, and high quality kindergarten in action. This district initiative has been recognized by the New Jersey Department of Education, the Division of Early Childhood. The bilingual and ESL department's focus this year is to provide guidance in meeting the challenging academic needs of English language learners. The department will be implementing changes that will promote student achievement and provide instructional opportunities that are engaging and incorporate language development in both the native language and English. This year, the bilingual and ESL department will focus on the following initiatives creating curriculum units for bilingual and ESL instruction, which incorporate the WIDA English Language Development Standards, the Common Core State Standards, and the New Jersey Core Curriculum Content Standards, implementing parent workshops to promote early literacy in the home. These workshops are designed to provide parents of English language learners reading strategies that will promote the development of literacy in native language and in English. And our final initiative will be to implement the Handbook for Educating English Language Learners. This handbook will provide information on the identification, placement, and exiting of ELLs from our language assistance programs, and it will also provide the programmatic and instructional component for educating ELLs in language assistance programs. Response to Intervention is a problem-solving framework designed for early detection and intervention of students in danger of inadequate learning outcomes. The framework consists of three tiers. Tier 1 is the universal tier that includes high-quality instruction based on the core program provided by the regular classroom teacher to all students. Within Tier 1, there should be flexible groups, differentiated instruction, continuous measurement and adjustment to instruction. Tier 2 is the strategic tier where the instruction supports and enhances Tier 1. It consists of small groups that meet three times a week. Tier 3 is the intensive tier where the instruction specifically addresses student deficiencies. It consists of small group and individual sessions. This year there will be a concerted effort to bridge the gap between the tiers with the use of constant communication, collaboration, and problem solving that focuses on student achievement. This summer, 16 teachers in grades K-6 to wrote the curriculum guides for the new math program, Go Math. Go Math is a center-based program aligned to the Common Core State Standards. During this school year, grades K-2 to math teachers will receive professional math coaching from contracted consultants. This professional development will include demonstration lessons, 
co-teaching lessons and critiquing of the lessons. Three teachers in grades 7 and 8 wrote the curriculum guides for the new 7th and 8th grade mathematics programs by Holt McDougall. This is a complete program for transitioning to the Common Core State Standards with interactive, real-world applications that help students deepen their understanding of crucial math concepts while addressing the Common Core State Standards for mathematics and mathematical practice. This program allows students to not just do the math, but also to understand and explain their math. At BHS, eight high school math teachers revised the Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 curriculum guides. In addition, two business teachers revised the web page design and business law curriculum guides. Technology remains a focused area at Bristol Public Schools. We reached our goal of 100 megabits with our internet bandwidth this year. At the same time, we increased the bandwidth going to Excel. We are purchasing student laptops and desktops throughout the district. Our goal is to provide enough laptops and desktops to begin park testing in the year 2015. We added 65 sets of smart student response systems to be distributed throughout the district. Once again, we renewed our license for Study Island, Fast Math, Read 180, System 44, and IXL. We hired two technologists to share amongst the schools, Broad, West, Buck Shootem, Excel, and GOFECC, and hired a new technology literacy teacher for Excel. Our goal as a technology department continues to be making sure every staff member and student has access to technology so they can become 21st century digital learners. During the summer, the district has responded to the need for more complexity in reading by adding additional novels to the 6th through 12th grade literacy curriculums. 6th grade will begin the year with Esperanza Rising. 7th grade will begin with Maniac McGee. And 8th grade will begin with Enrique's Journey, followed by The Giver. The curriculums have been adjusted to include the new novels. The writing prompts for the middle grades are grounded in the novels. Students will need to demonstrate the ability to closely read and deeply understand the novels and respond in writing while citing evidence from texts. This is in keeping with the expectations of the Common Core Standards in part. The 8th grade civics curriculum has been revised to coincide thematically with the 8th grade ELA curriculum. High school ELA students have three books added to their curriculums for the upcoming school year an updated version of Everything's an Argument, The Road, and Their Eyes Are Watching God. Also, curriculums and materials have been revised for Law in U1, African American History, English Literature 10, 11, and 12. The Bridgeton High School Visual and Performing Arts Department is expanding their offerings in the area of dance, theater, and TV production. This past summer, staff developed and wrote eight course levels of dance, eight course levels of theater, and four course levels of TV production. All areas of the arts will also include visiting artists to work with our students. This past school year, the Bridgeton High School Visual and Performing Arts Department collaborated with Apple Farm of Elmer, New Jersey, through a grant to bring artist in residency professional artist Dolores Dillon of the Bay Atlantic Symphony to work with our string students. The department is currently waiting to hear if another grant with Apple Forum will be available. The Bridgeton Visual Performing Arts Department continues to showcase and develop our students' interests and abilities through concert performances, involvement in performance competitions, art shows, art contests, digital art shows, theater showcases, dance showcases, and musicals. In preparing the next generation of STEM innovators, the Bridgeton School District has some very exciting changes to our science program. Our ninth grade teachers will be working with the New Jersey Center for Teaching and Learning to shift into algebra-based physics. Teaching physics built on algebra concepts will provide an opportunity to improve understanding and apply what the students are learning in algebra to real-life scenarios in physics. The content will be delivered as an interactive digital curriculum that utilizes smart board interactive whiteboards and student response systems. This year, grades three through five will be using the Science Fusion program. With Science Fusion, every day is an opportunity to ask questions, think critically, and make informed decisions. During the school year, the focus will be to incorporate literacy strategies into science instruction. 
Over the summer, teachers in grades 6 through 8 were provided training on the integration of Vernier Probeware into the curriculum. This training will continue throughout the school year and provide our students with an innovative approach to learning science. In addition, the kindergarten through grade 2 teachers revised the current curriculum to reflect the elementary science schedule. Thank you and have a great year.